Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we're going to be working on a cow that's got a puncture wound in her left front foot. You're going to get to meet Jake, one of my favorite farm dogs, even though he's being naughty right now. All right, let's get started on that sore foot. This will be the third puncture wound that I've come across this season. Typically, I see maybe one or two a year. This will be my third. This is another smaller dairy, about 50 cows on this particular farm, and they spend a lot of time on pasture, which is where these punctures tend to usually show up. If you're watching this and you're wondering, how can I tell a puncture wound from a run-of-the-mill abscess or white line lesion, as we've talked about before? There's really two different ways. One is the shape of the hole itself. This, this particular one was about a half an inch long and it was irregular shaped not like your typical abscess, which will be a split in that white line. The other way that we can tell is the location of the, the cut or the hole itself. In this case, the cut was actually toward the middle of the foot near the white line, but not in the white line. Whereas an abscess will almost always occur inside that white line. I've been asked several different times, how, deep, how do I know how deep to go when I'm cutting these out? And really, it's, there's two ways. Visually, I can see it's a pretty clear distinction between the hard horn and the soft tissue underneath. But another way we can tell is through the use of our tools and feeling. If you take a real close look at this knife as I'm working here, the tip of this knife has got a little hook on the end of it. And that allows me to grasp any loose any loose hoof that may be there and allows it, that hook to catch underneath it and I can lift away as I cut. That way I can keep from damaging any corium underneath while removing the loose hoof that needs to come away from this lesion. Another common question I get is how long will it take for that hole to fill back in? And the answer is hoof grows at about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch per month in sole depth. That hole itself won't fill back in because that the sole layer itself is already dead. But new sole will grow from the inside out at a rate of about a quarter inch a month. So over time, that area will become thick again with a nice solid horn. However, that hole will need to be either trimmed down or it'll have to wear off naturally or shed naturally over time to get a flat sole again. The best way we can get a puncture wound to heal like this is to glue a block to the other claw, raising that injured claw off the ground. And what that does is put all the weight on the good claw. The bad claw then is allowed to stay off the ground, keeps it away from uh, debris, keeps it away from banging into stuff, and it keeps it off the ground from all the uh, pressure from the cow, the weight from the cow off of it to allow that new sole to form. I also like to apply a wrap just for those first few hours to keep the debris and anything else from affecting healing. After that, cow's already got a barrier created of her own and that wrap is not necessary. So within a day, this wrap will come off and she'll be on her own to heal this wound up. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. I'm going to leave you with Jake doing what he loves to do best. See you guys later.